What's up, good people of the internet variety? Welcome back to the lim <laughs> Limitless, the, um, the Bremen Regional Championships for the Pokemon Training Card Game here in beautiful Bremen, Germany. I am Nick Pierce once again. I'm here with Lydia, and we have an amazing match for you right now. Oh, yeah, we have um, Chriso Valantis Amalatidis. <laughs> Whose full name we did not write for <laughs> obvious reasons, so we put it Chriso for the purposes of the stream and against uh, Limitless member Robin Schultz. Yeah, they are two German players and actually they are playing the exactly same 60 cards. Um, Robin built the deck and uh, he gave Chris uh, the deck list yesterday evening or rather night. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, we. Uh, I think we've got the thumbs up to start the timer, so we can do that now. Obviously, they're not quite set up yet, but uh, I mean, it shouldn't take too much longer, so it should uh, be all good to go. So, um, by the way, we're around, uh, in round seven now, and those two players are both at um, 5.01, yes, I believe. Yes, so, so this was table two. Yeah, it's table two. Yeah, so, um, yeah, they're just uh, sort of setting up yeah, now. We're going to see a, a Metagross mirror match now. So uh, let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, so the handshake goes. Um, Metagross is um, it's not a mirror we've seen on the stream yet. Um, I'm not really sure how this plays out normally. It's, again, like with most stage two mirror matches, I guess a lot of it comes down to you know, who'd set up first. So yeah. here, Robin going first actually is already a big advantage because he should, in theory, be able to get his Metagrosses out first if, if everything goes to plan. But of course, as we've seen many times today, Lydia, <laughs> it's quite often that things don't go to plan in this game. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything can happen, especially on this stream. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Robin, Ooh, actually not an amazing start. I mean, he does have two Beldum, which is good, but he all he did was attach a Metal Energy and yeah. pass. Whereas it looks like Chriso was able to actually go for the Tapu Lele. I'm guessing he probably is going to go for a Bridget? Probably. I mean, that's what you want to do in a stage two deck. You want to have your Lele in the first round and then go for a Bridget to uh, get some more basic Pokemon into play. Yeah. Uh, although, ooh, I don't... He didn't put it to the front of his deck. Maybe it's prized? Oh, no, no, he, he's just... What is he doing? What is he doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he just forget to put yeah. out uh, the Bridget. Yeah, it's like uh, getting, getting one step ahead of yourself there, Chris. So get the Bridget for... <laughs> there we go, now it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there go. Bridget for three Beldums, and uh, it looks like he is going to play an Ultra Ball as well. Looks like he's eyeing up a Max Potion discard. Oh, no, a Field Blower, and I was agonizing over this last one. Yeah, Field Blower is not important in this matchup, so that's fine to discard, yeah. but, um, mm. I think it's always interesting to see a mirror match, especially if, if both players know they are playing the exactly same deck list, and um, they they know each other quite well, and they are playtesting together uh, time by time, so... Yeah. Yeah. Um, also interesting that uh, Chris opted to actually discard two Field Blower yeah. games Ultra Ball, uh, but I think he kind of had to because he needed the energy in his hand to uh, attach to the Beldum to discard, uh, to retreat into the uh, it's a, uh, the Volpix. Yeah. And he, I think, again, like happened last game, Chris didn't even bother searching off the beacons, Robin said to have the end, so you know, don't bother. Yeah. <laughs> now we knew why Robin just uh, drew pa uh, attached an energy and passed. Obviously, he had rare candy Metagross in his hand, and now he's playing an end to get himself a few more hand cards. Yeah, the really actually that turns into a really strong start yeah. from uh, Robin now, and uh, getting the first Metagross out is, as we said, just getting that early setup really, yeah. really huge. And now what he can do is sort of you know start putting on pressure over this Metagross. Uh, he could even if he has, uh, oh, he missed the discard out. Oh. So although he can attach another energy, he can't actually discard one to use with Geotech to get the first hit in. Ah, oh, that is very unfortunate. That's yeah, really not optimal. No, uh, he so he's going to use his GX attack. Yeah, so he will be able to outgrow him at least. That yeah. will uh, be pretty good. Although. Chriso might have an N in his hand. I'm not sure if I did. You see one? Well, I I think if he had one, he would just already show the it to Robin. This sort all of like happened last turn, yeah. the other way around, yeah. So yeah, that's actually worked out quite nicely for for Robin then, because he will actually be able to make full use of this algorithm. But going get to Chriso, then he needs to think about okay. What's the best way for me to respond here? Yeah, I've... we can see Chriso's hand cards now, and it doesn't look like he has an N in his hand. No. Oh, he does have an Ultra Ball, but there's no bench base yeah. of the Lele, so 
yeah, that's the sort of key thing. Oh, interesting to see we actually, is that, I believe that's a Giratina yeah, promo. Yeah, that's a Giratina promo. Yeah. So obviously, Chris, I'm thinking, don't want to lose a Greninja. Just put just put this in, to, put that in to sort that matchup out straight away. Yeah. But obviously going to discard it since he has it uh, there now. And yeah, so yeah. if you're Chriso here, you you just need to think to yourself, I've got four Belgums out, so I've got enough, you know, to evolve into to set myself up quite nicely. And he does have the rare candy as well, it looks like. So yeah, get an Ultra does. Ball for that Metagross and evolve straight away. That's really great for him as well. So Chriso already off to a decent start here, actually. Yeah, just a few words about the Garantina promo. Um, I'm I'm sharing an Airbnb with Robin and Chriso, and um, they were talking all night long about what to to cut for this Garantina promo and uh, it they were awake until like 2 a.m in the morning <laughs> and we're discussing whether to cut a field well, lower or yeah are you so. telling me there, it, until 2 a.m in the morning literally just on this one discussion yes that is so i guess that's so surprising but it's robin so yeah. actually i'm not surprised about this at all <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know how the discussion ended because I went to bed earlier. I don't blame you for that one, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have done the same. Um, yeah, but in any case, Chriso it looks like he wasn't able to see um, another evolution. Like, he got the one Metagross out, so that is fine, but no Metangs or further Metagrosses for him, which is, yeah, not, not the best, especially considering he oh, knows. He plays a Guzma. Oh, now he has an energy in his discard pile, and now he's able to attack. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, it makes sense that he was able to do that, because, yeah. of course, he knows that, uh, well, he had the algorithm, so he had everything in yeah. his hand ready to go. Um, now, there's going to be, yeah, just a Giga Hammer, or whatever it needs, it, whatever the attack's called, uh, for 150. So now Chriso really needs to see a max potion, so that he can just, you know, put out the response. Ooh, two methangs down. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Now you can. It's pretty good, but um, also no Metagross yet. But he still has uh, one basic to evolve into a Metagross. So. Yeah, he does. As we see there, Geotech system plus a manual attached to a retreat, bringing up the Vulpix. He just... might just beacon for two Metagross. Yeah, and he has the max potion oh, oh, as yeah. well. So yeah, I think you're absolutely right there. He's a really, really strong turn. That's exactly what Chris needed as more of a defensive turn, that that uh, one. And he's going to be able to get either... Well, we get, yeah. he goes to Metang and Metagross this turn, which also makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's, it's again a pretty safe play. Uh, he's taking time for his setup. He's making sure he can he can get anything he wants to. Not leaving uh, the, the weak basic alone, rather liking to evolve it, which makes sense. Yeah. Um, do you know if either of these guys play Espeon EX? No, they don't. No. Okay, I was wondering that maybe that could have been like one strategy that they could have taken, maybe just opting to... No, I guess well, maybe they do. Because, uh, I don't know, it is it is an option. Another option which could be pretty good for the mirror is Necrozma GX. I don't know if... Uh, or Necrozma, however how you pronounce it. I don't know if uh, either of them play that, but that could be... That could be it could have been potentially really yeah. nice if you didn't play it, but um, again, do you know if they do or do you, are you not sure? I am not sure, okay. honestly, which is a shame because they talked about that decklist a lot. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Necrozma would be pretty nice because you know you do Black Ray, then follow up with a Prismatic Burst, yeah. just hundred to everything, and then discard some Psychics, take actually maybe take some big knockouts, but. Um, because yeah, otherwise this is just kind of a battle of, like we said earlier, just hitting for 150, setting yeah. up max potions and who misses first, essentially. Yeah, basically that's it. But um, let's see, it's uh, still Robin's turn. Yeah, it he is. He just played an N and um, looks like he's not too happy with his cards. No, it looks like he's forced to retreat here because... He doesn't really gain much value from just taking a knockout on the Vulpix, so he's actually going to send up the... Oh! That's, that's interesting. So, he does kill the Vulpix, but was that matter of damage and we just can't see it? And is, is that why he retreated? Uh, I don't know. It Didn't he just attack last turn? Oh, yeah, no, that was it. Okay, yeah, so you need to actually retreat to attack, of course. No, being, yeah. being silly. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, just retreating into the other Metagross just to get the attack off and, yeah, Giga Hammer for the knockout. Um. So Robin has taken his first prize card now. 
So, yeah, so that will be, I'll be, uh, it, I'm not sure if it actually gives them a lead or not. There's some of these matchups where, you know, taking the first prize card just almost doesn't matter because of the way later on it just becomes, you know, GX for GX yeah. knockouts, but. Sometimes it's uh, even not that good to kill a non-EX because this can force you to take kind of a seventh prize because yeah. you, n you need to knock out three GX or EX anyway to win. So. Yeah, yeah, that, that's kind. Of, that's kind of what I was guessing at. And um, the the only way that Christo, well, the only way that Robin can maybe stop that from happening is if he's able to Guzma one of the other non GXs before yeah. it evolves. But yeah, otherwise, exactly like, like Lydia, he will be forced into a seven prize game, which is definitely not what he wants to do. No, not at all. Especially not in a mirror match. No, and it looks like Christo was able actually to take a prize there as well. Yeah. Is, is, yep. is that his first knockout? Yeah, he took a prize. Okay, okay, good. Okay. Make sure. <laughs> So, now back to Robin as he's just thinking to himself, right, what do I want to do? He, he wants to Skylar. That, that's what he wants to yeah. do. Um, <laughs> Maybe he was uh, just thinking about what he could get with uh, Skylar. Yeah. I think the, the, the unfortunate thing for Robin is that he only has access to two Metagross right now. So, unless yeah. he has the energy in hand, he actually can't keep up the stream of Geotech systems. Whereas, yeah. if, as soon as you get three Metagross out, you just don't need to draw into energy, which is... But makes it gives you a lot more flexibility with what you can actually do. That's true. So yeah, he he might just go for uh, to set up uh, the next Metagross. Just so, go for an Ultra yeah. Ball. Yeah, that's that's actually what he's deciding. I'm gonna discard Volpix. Doesn't really need that anymore, I guess. And uh, Bridget. Bridget. Yeah. Don't really need that either. Um, it's oh. always nice to have cards in your hand that that you actually want to discard because you don't need them anymore. Yeah. He's going for the uh, Giratina. That's interesting. He just hold on. So he Skylar for the Ultra Ball, discarding Bridget, which he could use to get more, which he could use to get more Beldums. Yeah. But he's using it to grab the Giratina promo. That, I mean, to me, that tells me that maybe he has two Beldum prized. That's the only. Maybe. That's, yeah, that could be. That's the only logical reason I could think of for doing something like that. Yeah. True. Big sycamore from Chriso as he sees a max potion here. I don't know if it's if it's if that the game's like over, but that's it, it'll be at that point. Yeah, Chriso Chriso is in a very good board position, and he he it looks like he's in favor. No, it, it does not only look like it. Chriso is in it's favor, and there's the max potion yeah. as well. Yeah, it's going to be very hard for Robin to mount a comeback here because although it looks like such a small swing, because this is a Metagross mirror match, every single bit like this counts. Now Robin needs to find his own max potion yeah. and he needs to find the energy to attack back with the bench Metagross, otherwise he will just fall far too behind. Robin does not look too happy, but that <laughs> doesn't mean a lot. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember when I was like playing against Robin uh, and... Um, it was at Dortmund Regionals, not not the one in the big venue, but the one uh, early last year. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he was playing playing Night March, and yeah, oh, <laughs> he just Robin found the max potion. Okay, he did. So yeah. so he's okay then. It's uh, not definitely not the end of the world in that case. Uh, there's, I think the only problem might be now. It looks like he's been forced to bring up a Tapu Lele, which means that if Chriso finds a choice band, he can actually kill the Lele with the oh, Giga yeah. Hammer, which would be not ideal to say the least. Definitely not ideal. Yeah. Uh, but we will see what he finds off his end. He does find an energy and another max potion. No rolls, though. I... But Robin... Sorry, no, we are rolls. We're to be even more saying two to Gardevoir. <laughs> Robin rather likes to lose the, the Lele than a Metagross. Yeah, I guess the thing is with Metagross is that it's another... You know, if you can keep more Metagrosses out, then you're better in the longer run. Yeah. And actually, also something else about this which makes a lot of sense is uh, maybe Robin's plan is right. Let the Crystal take a bit of a lead, then I can end him, yeah. and then maybe eventually he whips Max Potion, and I can do stuff that way. Except the Crystal just hit another Max Potion, and he has the Choice Band too. Aww. Oh dear. Yeah. So now Robin needs to end here to try and capitalize and to make Chriso whiff something because right now Chriso has been on tempo every time. Every time he's needed to hit X cards, he's hit those cards. But even if he ends him, Chriso still has his GX attack, so he can attack with algorithm and get get himself some more supporter cards and some other stuff he might need. Yeah, he can. And of course, Robin ending him means that there's one less end to then end away the algorithm cards, yeah. which is, <laughs> makes it even worse. Um, yeah, that's, that's, no, that's absolutely a very, very, very good point. And now, 
Can Crystal find another max potion? Potentially? Well, it maybe. Let's see. Well, he he had his last max potion straight away all the time. Yeah. It does not look like he has one. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Crystal! Come on! This is just oh brutal, brutal, brutal. Uh and now Robin's just thinking. Oh, oh what can I even do yeah. now? The worst bit is he actually doesn't have the energy in hand. He has his own max potion, so he could heal, yeah. but he can't then attack, which is a bit of an issue. <laughs> yeah, he would need to retreat first anyway. Yeah. So, what he wants to do now is to retreat his uh, Metagross, uh, then use the abilities. No, that, yeah, it doesn't matter yeah. in which, uh, uh, which, uh, well. So, what he does first. Yeah. <laughs> well, what he does is he retreats, max potions. He does have a sycamore in his hand, so he yeah. just has to sycamore and hope he hits the energy, basically. Yeah. And yeah, that's what he's going to do. That's what he's going to do. So, sycamore, does he hit the energy? He does. Yeah, okay. he finds an energy. So, so, it's not so bad now, so you can attach Geotech twice and then uh, do another 150. And I, I, I'm not sure if I've, been keep, if I've been keeping count properly. That should be all of Chris's max potions gone now. I'm fairly sure I've seen him play yeah. at least... At maybe at least three, maybe four. So I think he only played three, so there should be one left in his deck. Assuming he plays four, obviously. He plays four. He, he does. Okay, yeah, of course. Yeah. Why wouldn't you in this deck? <laughs> yeah. Um, he's doing a quick count now. Um, he is going to retreat. Yeah, doing. He's going to do the free geotax and bring the energy yeah. back. Doesn't even bother discarding energy. Just <laughs> like moves it essentially. Yeah. Uh, no max potion. Yeah, this time. no max potion. So, so if Robin can find a Guzman now, he can finally KO a Metagross. He can. Um, and he's got the energy in hand as well, so... He, mm. Hmm. Does not look like he has a Guzman. But he has an Ultra Ball, so he could Ultra Ball for a Lele and he, then yeah. search for a Guzman. Yeah, he could. He also has a Max Potion in his hand, so... Yeah. What he could do, I mean, he needs to retreat anyway to get the attack off. I don't think he has enough energy in his discard pile to do a second Geotech system. So yeah, he's going to discard, retreat, bring up the other Metagross. Going to play the Max Potion, obviously. Yep. Uh, and then Geotech twice onto the active. The unattach. Maybe... Oh, okay. Maybe just maybe he doesn't have any of the other left, so maybe he just thinks there's no point doing the Guzma right now. Or maybe Crystal really is out of Max Potion, and Robin knows that. And yeah, and then, so at this point he's thinking, just going to start doing 150 and everything, and going to run out of things to retreat between yeah. eventually. It's actually pretty cool for Robin because he has got two fresh Metagrosses out, whereas Crystal just doesn't. And Crystal is actually going to be a force to attack the type of lady right now, yeah. so if Robin can find a choice band and an energy. He's yeah, actually. I think Robin even has a choice band in his hand. Ooh. It like it. Okay, so yeah, this could, this, this could get interesting now. So, so it's gonna be an oh, Chris, I used Tapu Kill GX. Oh, so he completely healing off both Metagrosses. <laughs> it's like a double max potion with no energy discard. That's oh, that's crazy good. So now again, Robin is just. I mean, it's it, it's still not the end of the world for Robin because as long as he's able to find the energy. He and looks like he's got the Lele left to do so, or like he might, he's grabbing Giratina, so he's probably got a Sycamore in hand. Um, yeah, we know he has the choice band in hand, so all he needs to draw off this, assuming we've got a draw supporter, which he must do if he went for the Giratina, is just draw an energy, attach his choice band to the bench, a Metagross, and then he will be able to take the KO. And yeah, that's exactly yeah, what's going to happen. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. Yeah, so Sycamore. So he, he just put the Giratina out of his deck because he does not want to use it in this matchup. He missed the energy though. Oh. Oh, poor, poor Robin. That's too bad. That's very, very bad. Do Field slower, at least. At least, yeah, but it doesn't really, it doesn't make too much of a difference because it's, it's a two yeah. shot regardless, and missing the attack now. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, that is very huge. And at this point, if I'm Robin, I'm thinking of going to the next game. Or, or not, apparently. <laughs> apparently not, yeah. I guess he disagrees. Oh, the field blower on the choice band as well, discarding one energy to retreat. Bringing up the Metagross. Yeah, free Geotech systems. I'm gonna he hit. might just concede. 
I guess he's going to see where his top deck is first, I guess. Probably. Is that the energy? No. no. An another choice band. I guess he could, maybe, depending on how much energy is in discard, he could uh, Guzma bring up the Lele for a KO, but that just doesn't really do much. Oh, okay, he does have another Max Potion. That's yeah. something, at least. Um, so many Max Potions in this game, it's hard to keep track. Um, <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And we see an end. We should start counting on paper. <laughs> yeah, 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 we should. Because it's actually really, it's really key. Because whoever runs out of max potions first probably loses, yeah. essentially. Yeah. The, um, right, so there, yeah, there's the end from Robin. It's going to draw quite a bit off of that. Deck looking pretty thin. Oh, uh, no, no energy, so yeah, oh, Robin yeah, to scoops. Yeah, that, now he shows what, what was in his prices. Both Beldum and yeah. Stretcher, that makes sense. So, yeah, and a very unfortunate turn of events for Robin as Chriso does indeed take game one. Yeah, to me, it's very interesting to see how this mirror match plays out because, like I said, it's not something... It, it, I guess it kind of went how we expected. Yeah. Like, the person who missed the most lost. Like, And, it, yeah, that's... I mean, if... I, I'm not saying that... Because you can't really predict who that will happen to, I guess. And Robin yeah. did go first, so he should have, in theory, had the advantage from the start. But then, as the game went on, Robin just missed too many times. Yeah, had the prizes with the prizes as well it just wasn't and really happening. Chriso had a very, very solid setup. He he took some time. He didn't evolve too fast, but still, he was able to find yeah. uh, three Metagross. Yeah, and. Then again, he had a setup where he could just survive from his board. Yeah, I think if Robin was able to survive to the point where he could take some prizes and actually get his third Metagross out, he actually might have been fine, but Rob Chriso just denied him every single time. Yeah. So from then on, like two Metagross against three, Robin's just not going to win that win that war. And Chriso was always able to heal. Yeah, yeah, he did, yeah. Not, he did not miss a beat with his max potions either. That's true. So let's see how the next game Good. will turn out. Right, let's do our customary mid-game look at the chat, see what you guys have all been saying. Um, so, go talk about the Let's scroll down a bit. Yeah, the mirror, mirror is so luck-based between the two good players. Yeah, 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 yeah that's it, true. It's, it's, it's hard to argue against that. It's, um, yeah, oh, yeah we, we know, so when we're talking about the cross mode, we're just saying as an option, we know he'd already used Algo from that game, but, you know, it is an option that you can play in a mirror if, you know, you and then you might yeah. not algorithm and leave it and uh yeah yeah tap a cure um way to way to beat metagross mirror play lunala gx and spam <laughs> moon geist <laughs> <laughs> i mean sure <laughs> that's um yep yeah, and uh Epa saying the mirror uh, the first to run out max version loses yeah pretty much spot on um and yeah, feel uh, mirror match is so stupid. Feel bad for them. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. It, it's, so it, it looks like they have started, and uh, Robin had a Garantino start. Oh, that's so bad, yeah. Robin. Again, just can't catch a break. At least okay, he does have a gear. He, not Garantino. He has a Bridget this time at least. Yeah. So uh, I guess what you, what you can do is maybe maybe he can try and take a similar approach to what Chriso did in the last game. Maybe he can just. You know, set up slowly behind his Giratina, force Chriso to KO this Giratina yeah. or to Guzma around it, and just slowly build up his Beldums into Metagrosses and try and do what Chriso did to him in the last game. Yeah, I think it's it's not the worst start, but it's definitely not what you wish for. No, of course not. Um, Robin, debating where his energy goes, he actually put up to put it on the Giratina. This kind of this does make sense. It yeah. means that he can just attach a second one and discard them both and geotech them back to yeah. next turn. Start doing some stuff. It it leaves him the option to retreat Garantina, and even if Giantria gets KO'd, he's happy to have energies in his discard pile. Yeah, so it makes sense to attach there. Um, meanwhile, oh, Chriso not, up to, not off to as good a start Ooh. as last time, but yeah, showing his hand to Robin saying, I, I can't, I need to end this, there's no way. Yeah. Um, mm. Potential spot of bother then for Chriso, as uh, if, he, if he doesn't find something off this end, then yeah, Robin should be able to set up quite well here. Um, I mean, he, he could draw complete garbage off the Zen, but uh, I mean, that's going to just happen yeah, any time. that's pretty un in, uh, unlikely. Yeah, especially with an Enter 6. But what does Chriso draw by comparison? You see... Oh! Yeah, it looks like Robin's hand is quite good. Good, it was Chriso drew 4 metal energy. Oh. Uh, Robin can actually take this game if he is able to charge up a Lele with 2 energy. I think he's missing rare candy on his hand right now, but it's not... Well, he could Ultra Ball for a Lily and then the Skylar. Chriso does not have a draw supporter either. His hand is oh. literally like, is it Guzma, Metal Energy, and a Max, a full Metal Energy, Guzma, and a Max Potion. 
Well, this max potion, no. Actually, it can't buy him sometime. Yeah, because it's... if Robin is able to attack, he can just KO. Yeah. Yeah, that's really, really, really bad end draw for Chriso. Yeah. Um, let's see what Robin does. I think, yeah, he's gonna go this a bit slower, just grab him a tang. Just, uh, yeah, being really sensible about it. You can see Chris is shaking his head. He, yeah. he, he knows that he just uh, kind of got bit there. Um, and Chris just draws Aww. his scoops. <laughs> yeah, he knows it's over. So a very, very quick game two, and we are on to game three. Robin taking that game two <laughs> in, like, a few minutes. <laughs> And, and actually, in all fairness, I, I like that Chriso did this because now they have a full 25 minutes of game three. They know that this mirror match is quite long and they would rather one of them walk away with a win instead of a tie. So this it's really good that this happened, actually. Yeah, this is also where you see that they know each other and they are a friend. So they say, hey, okay, a tie doesn't get us both anywhere. Let's just play this. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we're tw like we're 25 minutes left. It's just... Yeah, it's, a good, it's, a, it's absolutely fine. Um, and I think they both know that they are good players and they both believe that they can win this game. Yeah. Okay, going back to uh, the chat just briefly. Uh, Gamer ALO, these guys are both 501. Uh, oh, sorry, someone else has answered in the chat, but yeah, they're, they're not 6 0. The only 6 0s, uh, the, they've already been on the stream essentially, so this is like the highest level game that we could feature. Uh, Reckler versus uh, Philip Emmerich. Yeah, who've yeah. both been on stream before. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, 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 you were saying a very quick mess gross game. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. Like, you know, this, um, <laughs> he didn't use Corby. <laughs> that, that's the, that's the Belgium's attack. Um, oh, that's actually, that's a good point, actually. The Giratina attacks with psychic energy. So in theory, you could actually attack with it in mess gross for, yeah. for 110. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Yeah. I mean, it's not a because great attack, he, yeah. but <laughs> it's, uh, It's yeah. possible. Yeah. It's also completely different to most other decks, which can't do anything with it anyway. Uh, yeah, so but you can you could hit a Lily for weakness, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Actually, I didn't think about that. Oh uh, well, no, wait, Lily, Lily, Lily doesn't have weakness. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the whole thing. Why it's so cool. Um, Chriso, oh my, <laughs> Chriso again. He oh. attached a metal to the Giratina, ends into nothing, and passes. <laughs> oh, Chriso looks so angry. Yeah, he does. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Chriso, he's play. He's known to. He he's not one to hide his emotions. I remember. Do you remember? No, the, he doesn't. Like, do you remember the, the German national finals? He actually got choked up a bit when he oh, won. Yeah. yeah, it was. That was so sweet. Yeah, it was. I mean, I wouldn't believe. I would say that was so sweet from Chriso, but <laughs> in this moment. Yeah, in that moment, because I think he'd been playing for so long as well, and he really was aching for a yeah. good result, and he just won that nationals, and he was so happy. But yeah. uh, now we go, we've gone from. Uh, Happy crying to complete, almost like rage and oh, sickable, Aww. just whacking those cards in the discard pile. <laughs> oh, and is he passing again, or is he? Oh, okay. Uh, he's pass. Yeah, he's passing before Robin even draws his cards. <laughs> or maybe he's just waiting. Oh no. He oh. Yeah, yeah, he, he passed. Sycamore and then passed. But yeah, yeah, he drew Aww. nothing. He drew absolutely nothing. Robin's taking a quick look at his discard pile, at Chris's discard pile, to see what he sick him away. way. Yeah. This is... Poor Chris. Can he even do anything next turn? That's a... I, think that's a... I saw two rare candies in his hand. They don't really use him anything. Chris is, by the way, also playing very old rare candies. They're from uh, Hold On Phantom, I yes. believe. Yes, they are. The ones that just after the Sandstorm yeah. ones we saw earlier. Um, yeah, I don't think, again, I think Chris has no draw supporter in his hand. At least I don't no. see one. If he doesn't top deck something. Oh, no, he has a Sycamore. Oh, okay. Okay, but still, that's that's really awful because he, he has three rare candies in his discard pile if he uses the Sycamore. That's, and no Beldum on the yeah. field. That's really. No, uh, oh. no, so Chris just gives up. He just doesn't even want to try that. I guess it's like, nope, nope. Yeah, had enough of that. I mean, again, it's not the end of the world. It's. Uh, it's his first loss, so he's on five one one. It's still very yeah. easy contention to make day two, but even so. if he, he draws next round, he could still he's on the bubble. Yeah. So but yeah, Robin after losing a really grueling game one wins <laughs> two very quick games to move on to uh, uh yeah, X X zero six zero one no, yeah, six zero one. That's correct. So um yeah, again, since that was very quick, we will have time to get Robin in for an interview, so we're gonna go fetch him now, uh and just don't go anywhere, we will be right back.
All right, hello everyone, welcome back. I'm here with Robin Kappa-Schultz. <laughs> Just uh, the taking, well, losing a very, very grueling game one and then just yeah. sort of, uh, what, what what do you do when you when you take a win like that? Obviously, because you're happy that you take the win, but I don't know, whenever a win like that happens, it sort of feels a little bit empty almost, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, but we take those. Yeah, yeah, you do. It's especially in a mirror where it's hard to, sometimes it's yeah, kind of luck-based like anyway. And it's the same 60 cards. Even it's so. exactly the same 60 yeah. cards. Wow. I keep copied my list uh, in the morning of today. <laughs> um, so uh, Lydia was telling us that you guys, you were up with him until like two or three in the morning debating what to cut for the Giratina promo. Um, is that is that right? Like, I, don't, I don't know uh, how, <laughs> how late it was, but, but <laughs> yeah, 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 basically. <laughs> so what did you cut in the end for it? Uh, the fourth choice band. Oh, okay. That's, and that's uh, the Giratina has been really good today, even though I didn't play against uh, Greninja. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's fair enough. I but guess but you, it, you it can attack, attack with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, attack with it against the canyon and tie because of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. It's actually one of the few decks I can actually make use of its attack, because normally yeah, you just yeah, you put so it in. Cool. So what's the attack, what's the mind it? does 110 and... Yeah, and do this card a random card from your opponent's hand. Oh, yeah, that could be really good. Um, so, yeah, it's funny as well, because in both... The, the game two and three, yeah, game two, you started Giratina, but he ended up bricking, and then he yeah. started Giratina and just saw nothing happened. Um, have you played any other Metagross Mirrors today, or was that the first one? Yeah, I played against one, but uh, it was a different list with only two Max Potion, and uh, it was a little easier. Oh, okay, yeah, obviously, if you have more Max Potions than him, it's a lot easier to and sort of do that. He played, like, uh, the Necrozma and a lot of Psychic Energy, and uh, the Necrozma can be good, but... Um, but you, you don't play it, do you? Yeah, no. no. But did, did, have you, did you miss it today at all? I guess uh, probably not, if you your record, but... No, I think the Necrozma is... A, kind of useless in the deck. That's, just, that's just, fair enough. Yeah. Giratina's better if you want to take Pokemon, in my opinion. That, that, that's, that's completely fair. So, um, what, what else have you played against today? What, is your, what have your matchups been like? I played against Tugardevoir. It was <laughs> yeah. easy. <laughs> yeah, of course. Then, uh, I mean, I know you say that. We did see a Gardevoir and a Metagross tie on stream earlier. So it can happen. <laughs> but uh, um, what else? Sorry. And then I, this was my second mirror, like I said. Then uh, yeah. the Kabulu, which is... Pretty easy too, mm -hmm. and uh, played against one Gulis support and won that, and a tied against Volcanion. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh tied against Volcanion. That's actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, probably got to be happy about that. Indeed. Yeah. Um, but who was it? Um, was it just was it with Salazzle and Ho, or was it just sort of just more? straight Volcanion with a uh, Brooklet Hill and a uh, little Volcanion? Okay. Yeah. No, that's that, that's really good then. So you are six zero one now. Yeah. yeah, so that means if you win one more, then you're absolutely like, I mean, you're probably and, safe now um, anyway, but. Yeah, with my tiebreaker, I should be safe. Yeah. Um, so are you going to play the next round? You're maybe yeah, thinking, sure. yeah, you're, you're not going to. It really make sense to tie. Yeah, because you want to start with a higher record so that you're more like the top eight in day two. Yeah. Yeah. And um, other than, I guess, Volcanion, is there any other deck you really, which you really don't want to face in the next few rounds? Um, not sure. I guess Mirror is annoying. Yeah. And. Not sure how my Glissopod guard matchup really is. Uh, if I play a, a good list, not sure. Yeah. Now, before we go, there's one last question I want to ask. Um, we, we, we were making jokes earlier about sort of like the battle of the Schultz brothers. So we were saying how last year, obviously, um, Philip was able to. I mean, he still had a really good season, but Philip had an insane season. Now you did well. You did better than Philip at Liverpool. You're doing better than Philip now. Do you think this is now your year? Do you think now you'll be able to? <laughs> you this year that you'll win the the battle of the Schultz brothers. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, awesome. Like, listen, thank you very much. Uh, good luck for your last two rounds. And uh, everyone, we will be back eventually with uh, the next round. So until then, don't go away.